So that's what we need. Yep. We need to get I rid agree. of we need to get rid of these people who got into office hoping to get a lobbyist job. Fifty years ago. Oh, that's total. That's uh, look. <laughs> you know what? You know. You know. I'll tell you. <laughs> if you've figured out how to become worth a hundred million dollars off a hundred and seventy four thousand dollars a year, wow. You know that's that's amazing. And Trump became a billionaire off a million dollars. Yeah, con congratulations to those people in, in Congress who took a six-figure salary and became worth millions of dollars. I wonder how they did that, huh? While they're still in Congress, too. Don't even get me started on that. Dude, it is so busted. Absolutely did, busted. Do you see that? I sent you, uh, I sent uh, Adam the Dylan Radigan rant. Did you watch that? I did, yeah. Dylan Amazing. Radigan in 2013. Was it 20? 2013. That was when the video was published. I wonder if that's when the video was actually first. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Live. I yeah, think the video was from 2013. I don't know when it is actually from. Most most of you might be aware of the of the famous Dylan Radigan rant on MSNBC where he rips apart Democrats and Republicans. It's eye opening, actually. He says he's 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 super angry. And this is almost a decade ago. And he's like, they are extracting our nation yep. through banking, through trade, through politics. Yep. And he said it. And that uh, the entire time I was watching it, especially at the end of it, I, I hit, you know, it, it came to an end. And I was just like, yeah. I, Trade. I, I want, that was it. I want Trump to be president again for another four years. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. And I don't want him to be encumbered by by something that isn't true. Like the whole Russiagate thing. You know, he, he is right. an economist. He went to school. He has a degree in economics. You know, it's like, sure, okay, all of his businesses didn't weren't fully successful but he had so many businesses and throughout that if you look at his business history and you look through the 90s like that's when he kind of had a rough patch I've and, got, he, and he figured it out and he turned it around i've got the uh the we the, need we need that kind of leadership right now i'll tell you my view biden is awful 100 percent agree with he's you. he would voting for biden is restoring the establishment crony crony class it, we got we got biden here with us wait today, a minute apparently. listen here fat your Let me tell you. Face pony soldier. Thank you. Yeah. Here's the deal. I. Right, what was I saying? Uh, if you listen, the listen, thing. The, if you the thing, you know. Go. If you vote for Biden, you are trying to restore the crony class that was extracting our country yep. and hurting people. Yep. Exactly. If you vote for Trump, you're getting a rather imperfect man who I believe does love this country and wants to try and fix it. There's no doubt in my mind that he loves this country. I know his history. His his parents. His mother was an, uh, an immigrant. She immigrated here from from Scotland, and she she had nothing. And his but grandfather listen, came here with nothing. And they both built businesses. And look where he's at now. Here's what I want. I want something better than Trump. Me right too. right now, yeah. considering what we're looking at with Biden, I'm kind of like, oof. You know, I think I'm gonna have to vote for Trump. But I also want more than just the president. I want Congress and the Senate. And I don't care what party it is. Mm -hmm. I want. The problem right now is that the young, excited individuals on the Democrat side are like Marxists. You're right. And I don't mean that in the in the pejorative, like, you're a Marxist, you're a commie. I mean, like, many of them are literal Marxists. Mm -hmm. And in the true sense of the, of the word, many of them are Democratic Socialists, members of, de well, members not, of the Democratic it's Socialists. Not true communism, Tim. Well, arguably, but many of them are DSA. Many of them are socialist or democratic social is basically the same thing. And I don't want that. None of those people want to do work for a living. They just want to be handed stuff. That's all I'm seeing. Every single one of them. They just don't want to do the work that is required to, to be successful in this country. This country allows you to do whatever you want to do, but you got to work for it. And they I don't think, want to work for it. I think these people have some kind of broken worldview. And I think it's due to it's, it's society in general's fault. Now, we can go back and analyze how this generation came to think the things they do. Yeah. I don't know if it's a political party's fault, but I will tell you this. Telling a bunch of young people to wake up, go to school every day, come home, then go to high school, and then take out huge loans to go to college was to, a huge mistake. To be in debt for exactly half of your life, so I'll tell maybe you what, your entire life. This, this is why I'm in favor of some kind of loan forgiveness. Okay. Because the reason many of these, these young people don't believe in hard work is because no matter how hard they work, they can't break that that chain. Right. 